Hi class, today I want to give my pitch on ethics in a globalized world, and today I want to answer the question, what lies beyond cultural relativism? Uh, to me, the answer to what lies beyond cultural relativism is a Christian worldview on ethics. And today in this video, I want to paint three things that I feel is wrong with cultural relativism, as well as three things that the Bible gives on how we should live globally as a world. For me, cultural relativism has been problematic because it gives no definite standard of how to live and function as a society. Um, I feel like things are feelings based and I think this becomes problematic when you have 8 billion humans feeling different things. Next, I feel society tries to focus on being a good person, but with cultural relativism, there's no way to define a good person. I feel like we all strive for what we believe morally, but I think it becomes problematic when these things differ and there's no definitive standard to define what a good person is. Lastly, I feel like Cultural relativism presents the problems of selfishness. I think as a society, we're so focused on self and how we can gain. And I think cultural relativism does a great job at putting the focus on self instead of others. Now, I know a lot of people may have disagreements with the Bible or they may not believe in Christianity or God in general. But I think it's important to focus on the principles that the Bible teaches, particularly looking at the life of Jesus and what he spoke to his followers. The first topic that I want to discuss today is the dignity of human life. I think this is a very important topic to discuss because I know that we as a society not always see each other in the best way. I think Jesus really speaks to this in his message on the Sermon on the Mount. He states clearly, Thou shalt not murder, as well as be merciful, and mercy will be given unto you. To me, this creates a great picture of two distinctive things that as humans we should follow when trying to interact with each other on a global scale. I feel like if we truly upheld these two standards of living globally as a society, we would be much better off. In my opinion, when it comes to things such as murder and abortion, I think Dr. Richard Lee, um, a Christian himself, said the best. He states that if people of all nations do not protect the right for the unborn and born, then all our other arguments for human ethics are meaningless because they don't follow the basic human virtue which is the virtue to exist. I think focusing on the dignity of human life will allow us to value each other more. And I think it really speaks greatly onto my next topic. So topic number two is common decency. So, as we all know, our world is filled with hate for a multitude of reasons. And I think no better way to exemplify love than the standard that Jesus presents here when he states, love your neighbor as yourself and bless those who curse you, as well as do good to those who hate you. I think as a society or as a world, if we could adopt this principle, I feel like it would greatly benefit us. I think we would see less wars, less genocides, less terrorist acts, and just less hateful crimes committed amongst one another. I know that this does a great job at putting the focus not on self and making us other oriented. Lastly, a topic I wanna to talk about is identity. In particular, I wanna focus on gender and family structure. I feel like in today's society that identity, gender, family have become so loosely defined by the feelings of others instead of facts and truth. I think if we look to the Bible and we kind of go by how we are called to live as a human race, I feel like we will have less anxiety, depression, we will have more structure. I feel like when we look at the Bible and we see the traditional methods that our society um, wants to demonize and kind of portray as negative. I feel like that just creates more confusion for an individual. I 1000% do not think that we should disrespect or harm those who do not agree to traditional gender or marriage roles. However, I think globally, we should not demonize these traditional gender or marriage roles. In my opinion, people feel the pressure to be sexually experienced, which leads to a lack of identity and ultimately affects our ethics. If you look at the three themes that I spoke on today, human dignity, common decency, and identity, you see three biblical principles that allows our society to elevate our global ethics. How I see it is protecting human life, loving our neighbor as ourself, and having a well-solidified identity gives our society the best opportunity to allow us to be global, ethical citizens. Thank you for your time.